the disruption happened in 2020. We were suddenly jolted out of what we considered to be the normal with no warning, no announcement whatsoever. So we couldn't get ready. We couldn't prepare for what was coming. Who knew what was coming? <laughs> and as a result, families were pretty shaken up. People lost loved ones, fathers, mothers, and even children, sadly. And some people were badly hit economically due to the meltdown that followed, even though some other people thrived, right? So this became the normal that we had to learn to thrive in. And in 2021, opportunities arose that helped us leverage the experiences we had in 2020 and find how to swim against the tide of the new normal and become like the proverbial person who had lost the use of his limb, learn how to work again, learning how to work again. So 2020 was the year of leverage where people learned to find alternatives to education. People had to learn to do a lot of homeschooling, a lot of Zoom and other of these facilities that afford the ability to have people connected to a central point and learning. So students had to leverage new and different, not new, but something that we're not really used to, especially in our climate here in Africa. And so this also affected our business. So people now had to learn how to use technology, leverage technology for business, for personal development, and even for relationships. So 2021 was the year of leverage. So 2022 is the year of the future. Yes, the year of the future. So what's the future of your family? What does the future hold for your family? How do you position yourself for the rest of this decade that opened up in 2021 to find a well-manicured family system. And when I say family, I mean marriage and everything in between. And of course, parenting. Yes, parenting. With parenting, you're trying to find out, one, how to evaluate what you will need as a parent in order to raise children who will grow up in the post-COVID era. Secondly, you're trying to find, you're trying to understand what your child would need to find relevance in the world he or she will grow in. And three, you're trying to marry, get a plan that marries an understanding of what your child will need and what you will need as a parent to raise that kind of child. The child who thrives in the decade that he or she Will be growing in and so welcome to 2022 again our year of deliberate and intentional parenting in this year i as your family systems counselor will be giving you information and knowledge basically that will help you make the decisions that you need to make for a better family life that influences the way you raise your child Remember, we believe that whole kids make whole adults and by extension, we believe that it takes a whole adult to raise a whole child because you cannot give what you can give. So I welcome you again, sit back, relax, and be sure that everything that will be coming out of this space will be beneficial to you, your family life, and of course your parents. See you at the top. Bye for now. <laughs>